Hi, and welcome to the Swift Quickly course. Now let's move to our first lesson about Swift 3.0. And the first change is, of course, that all function parameters have labels unless you request otherwise. Okay, so let's take a look at a very simple example that in Swift 2.x or 2.0, uh, basically 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and so on, you were able to do something like this, UI font dot uh, preferred font for text style, right? And then in the course, you were able to pass in UI font text style sub headline, okay? Now, you can see that this passing of the parameter does not really have any label assigned to it. So in Swift 3.0, Swift 3.0, you cannot really write what you wrote in Swift 2.x. So you have to do something like this, UI font, preferred font, and you can see over here that a parameter that you're passing uh, has a label, which is, in this case, is for text style, okay? And not only that, but you will also notice that the name of the method, instead of being preferred font for text style, is simplified to preferred font. And I can simply send an UI font something something, and I'll get the preferred or whatever font that I'm asking for. All right? Um, let's look at a different example now. So in Swift 2.x, we were able to do something like this. So if I have a collection of array, let's say Azam, uh, John, Alex, Mary, it's a string array as you can see, and I can say index of, and then I can say John, and it's gonna return me one. But of course, in Swift 3.0, all function parameters, they must have labels unless you specify otherwise. So if I have to write this in Swift 3.0, I'm going to write the same thing like this, John, Alex, Mary. And now look at this. If I'm going to call index of, it's going to be passing the parameter, which is off. And I can pass in Mary and it's going to return me three. All right. So remember now that in Swift, 3.0, everything that you pass in the function must have labels for the parameters. I think this is really, really great because it uh, improves the readability of the functions. You know what you're passing. In this case, in Swift 2.x, I don't really know what the parameter name is, right? I don't know what this value will be containing. Where is this value actually going? Now, of course, this has a direct impact on some of the old methods that are in view controller. So let me show you. If you don't want to say a label, if you don't want to pass a label, you are going to pass an underscore, all right? And when you pass an underscore, then you can say view will appear, and you can see that now you are not required to assign or to create a label for that particular parameter. Now this is of course done so that Objective C can call these methods because Objective C itself does not have any way to provide labels when calling the functions. Now if you're wondering what happens if you want to declare your own class, what should I do it? Well, let's look at a very simple class, animal. This is your custom class and it will have a function called eat, all right? Now, if you do want to pass in something, let's say food as a string, you can do that. And then you can create an animal instance like this and call the eat method. And you can see now you can simply pass in what you want to pass without labeling it. But I think Swift 3.0 feature of actually saying that what you're passing or labeling it is much better. So if I have to label it, I'm simply going to remove the underscore and now it's actually label. 
And now, of course, it's much more clearer also that the eat function, which is on animal instance, is going to be, when, you, when I'm calling the function, I'm passing leaves, which is of type food, which is a food value, okay? I think I really welcome this change. I think it will increase the readability of the code. And for all the people who are actually calling the method or consuming the method, it will be, uh, it will be nice for them to know what is going on. All right. And that's pretty much it for the function parameters should have labels and stay tuned for more. Thank you very much.